Hello everyone. Today we are solving the exercise 4.5. The first question is we have to factorize 8x cube plus y cube. And the second part is we have to factorize with a negative sign in between. So we have to understand two identities first of all. The first is x cube plus y cube. When we have to solve the identity x cube plus y cube, it has two factors. One of the factor is x plus y and another factor is x square plus y square minus x y. The identity means to this I can write this and to this I can write this wherever required. If there is a negative sign in between then x cube minus y cube can be written as x minus y as the first factor and x square plus y square plus x y as the second factor. So these two identities we have to learn for this particular exercise. Now, as the first question is 8x cube plus y cube, I can write it as 2x whole cube plus y cube. And because this can be taken as first term and this can be taken as second term and uh, there is a positive sign in between, so we will put the first identity in it and the answer will be 2x plus y as the first factor while 2x square plus y square minus 2x into y will be the second factor. So this can be written as 4x square plus y square minus 2xy as the one of the factor and 2x plus y was already the first factor. Suppose there is a negative sign in between, then we have to put the second identity. This can be written as 4x whole cube minus 5y whole cube. So when we solve this, it will be 4x minus 5y as the first factor because there is a negative sign in, be in between the two. And the second is x square, which is 16x square. Directly I can write 4x square means 16x square. y square means 25y square. And xy means this multiplied by this, which is 20xy. So it is plus 20xy. So this will be the factorization of this question. Question number 2 part 1, 64x cube plus 1. Directly we can put it as 4x whole cube plus 1 whole cube. And we apply the formula x cube plus y cube is equal to x plus y into x square plus y square minus x y. So it will be 4x plus 1 as the first factor. 16x square plus 1 minus 4x as the second factor because when 4x multiply by 1 it is 4x which is xy. In this question we know that 7a cube is not a perfect cube and 56b cube is also not a perfect cube. So we can take something common here. If we take 7 common it is a cube plus a b cube and this question is almost the same as the first question because it can be written as a whole cube plus 2b whole cube and already 7 was the common term here. So we can write it as 7. The first factor will be a plus 2b and the second factor will be a square plus the square of this which is 4b square plus it will be a negative sign. So now minus a multiplied by 2b that is 2a. So these are the factors of 7a cube plus 56b cube. If we look at this question, again we have to understand that this must be either a square or a cube question. So 343 is a cube of 7. 7 cube is equal to 343. This we have to understand or learn before we solve this question. It can be written as x square upon 7 whole cube plus it is 7 upon x square to the whole cube. Again, this term is written as x2 plus y2, so it is x square upon 7 plus 7 upon x square as the first factor and the second factor will be x to the power 4 upon 49 plus 49 upon x to the power 4. This is a square plus b square or x square plus y square minus the multiplication of 2 and which will come out to be 1 because 7 can be cancelled by 7 and x square can be cancelled by x square. So this is the factors of this term. If we take this into consideration, it is 2x whole cube minus 1 upon 3y whole cube. As we already know, the identity 
the formula for x cube minus y cube. So it is 2x minus 1 upon 3y as the first factor. And the second factor will be first term square, that is 4x square, plus second term square, that is 1 upon 9y square, plus the multiplication of two terms, that is 2x upon 3y. So this is the factorization of second part of question number 3. If we look at fourth question part 1, we can take x square common, it will come out to be 1 plus x cube. And 1 plus x cube is also in the same identity format, x cube plus y cube. So it is x square, the first bracket will be 1 plus x. And the second bracket will be 1 plus x square minus x. Because it is x square plus y square minus xy. Means first term square, the second term square minus the multiplication of two terms. If we look at the question number part 2 of question number 4, so again these are not the perfect squares, but I have already told that if there is no perfect square or perfect cube, it's always better to take something common here. So what we can take common here? One thing is x we can take common and here if it is 500, so it's better that we take 4x common which will come out to be 8x cube minus 125 because 8 is a perfect cube and 125 is also a perfect cube. So it is 4x, this can be written as 2x whole cube minus 5 whole cube. The same identity we apply here which will be 4x multiplied by 2x minus 5 as the first factor. First term square that is 4x square plus second term square that is 25 plus the multiplication of two terms that is 10x. So in this case we can say 4x multiplied by 2x minus 5 multiplied by 4x square plus 25 plus 10x. This is the factorization of uh, part 2 of question number 4. So in the next class we will talk about question number 5 onwards. If you have any problems you can contact us or phone us. Thank you.